Our first story comes all the way from Belmar, New Jersey, where a local customer claims he goes into a model train store, doesn't purchase anything, and yet somehow the back seat is always filled with trains on his way home. Ken, would you like to explain your story to everybody? So, you're saying you go into a train store. Yes. You don't buy anything. No. And somehow, on the way home, your back seat's full of trains. Yes. That is very unusual. It is. I genuinely do not understand it. This sounds like it's another one of those unexplained, unsolved train mysteries. Indeed. Ooh, microtrains. I could use some of these. Okay, I think we might just solve that one. While we continue our Unsolved Train Mysteries episode, we are going to show you some new items that hopefully will find the way in your layout. And we're going to start with some of Bowser cars. Here we get a whole bunch of different hoppers and the most colorful striking paint schemes I can imagine. So check out all these wonderful black and white colors here. So we have here, this is a 100 ton 4x hopper and that is of course the running. And then I got four H5 four bay hoppers here. I got the Bethlehem Mines, the Baltimore and Ohio, the Penn Central, and of course the Erie. Now these are very nice looking hopper cars here and they're relatively uh, affordable too. I think that is the great part about these cars here. Well, first of all, I have a whole bunch of different road numbers. So if I want to get a nice long hopper train, I definitely have that capability here. Nice load happening in here. They do have some pretty good weight to it. Metal wheels, that's always a plus. Now, the retail value of these cars here, they sell for $29.95, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $23.99. So you got a very nice looking car here. You got the ability to get a nice long unit train here. So I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to get these hoppers being pulled by an engine on your rails today. I think this Redding one might look good with one of those Redding and Norton diesels we looked at the last show. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars rolling on your layout today. The rolling stock item I have over here is from KD. We have here a PS1 boxcar of the Ann Arbor. That's a really nice looking car too. That was a very dramatic fade down engineer hall. You like that. This is a dramatic show here. But it's a very nice car here. I like the fact that it does have metal couplers too. KD seems to put that on all their cars there. I believe the doors do open here as well. If I could figure out. There you go. So you can put your uh, Queen Anne cherries in there. How about that? So, this is a very nice looking car here. Now, this boxcar retails for $42.99, but we got it here for $33.99. So, I think you need a boxcar to go along with those hoppers, to go along with the diesels you saw on the last show, to go along with everything else that we sell you here on our show. So, come to Yankee Dabble and get it. Our next story brings us back to New Jersey, where a local man claims that mysterious charges from Yankee Dabbler appear on his credit card statement, even though he denies any of those actions from happening. It is one of those unsolved train mysteries. But as I told my wife, I said, look, you know, I could get what I want. You know, I have money too. So I, it's going to increase the value of our house. People are going to want to come over and see us. They're going to be like, hey, look, you got another train there. I think this is a great thing that's happening here. I don't understand it. I mean, she didn't question any of the random hotel things that I had on there. Nah, nah, slow down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. You, you, you talk too much, all right? Stick with the train <sighs> stuff, right? The hotel thing. Come on now. Give him the game it away. It is another one of those unsolved train mysteries. Speaking of more trains here, we have some more diesel locomotives from Athern that we're going to check out. And we have some SD40s for your consideration. Once again, Athern puts these in the sealed for quality factory seals on them. So I didn't take a bunch out. But I had the, uh, what was that? That was the KCS. I have here the uh, Pacific Harbor lines here. I have here a Southern Pacific and of course the Santa Fe and I did take one of them out here. This is a really striking example of the Burlington. I really like the way this one looks. This is a really nice looking diesel locomotive there. SD40s are a great looking diesel locomotive there. They are a standard on many rails. You still see them in operation today. I really enjoy these engines here. Athens does a good job with it. And I think we should run this around the lab for a spin. So let's get started. Take a listen to the bell. The horn. There we go.
Hold on. So that's great sounding looking diesel. It runs really good too. The retail value of these engines is $269.99. Or we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $215.99. So come into Yankee Dabbler and get some SD40s on your roster today. Our next story brings us to a Norfolk Southern engineer where he claims that every time he goes to his model train layout, somehow, inexplicably, there are new locomotives on his roster. I don't know how this happened. Every time I go down to the layout, Oh my gosh, that's when I come down, there's another engine. <sighs> Not today. Nope. Not today. I don't know how it's happening. Not today. Nope. I look over and say, wow, it's another engineer. I didn't purchase that. Wow, it's another engineer and stuff. I have so many engines, I don't know what to do. And I don't know why it keeps happening to me every single day. Hey, Engineer Hall, your pre-order came oh, in, by the oh, way. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, yep. Thanks. All right, see you later. Uh, you want to keep filming? Engineer Hall? Huh? Want to keep filming? No, that's all right. I got, I got a new engine I got to play with. Uh, I, I know uh, I'm going to do a review on it, and uh, you'll love it. Um, okay. I guess I'm doing this myself now. All right, well, now that I'm by myself, I'm going to play with a new steam locomotive from Lionel. We got an O scale uh, steam locomotive here. Let's take a look at this one. This is a Lion Chief Consolidation. It's a, two, a Western Maryland steam locomotive. Now, if this looks familiar to some of our O scalers, yes, this is an actual NTH tooling that Lionel purchased a couple years ago here. And now they have um, Lionelized that. What that means is it now has the Lion Chief system on here. It has Bluetooth capability, so I can actually run this on my phone as well as the line chief remote so i'm going to add power to it as you can see the lights flashing i got my app here i'm going to locate my steam locomotive here as you can see got my app here i'm going to hit the steam engine i gotta link it now i got my engine here so let's take a listen to some of the features here so i have here the bell i have the whistle That's a classic whistle. Let's listen to some of the announcement talks. Dispatcher here, start her up, stand by for track orders. Over. Yes, sir. Start up and stand by. Out. Dispatcher, my engine's ready. Can I pull? Over. Please stand by. Out. Dispatcher, trains buckle together. Can I get a go? Over. Negative. Hold your position. Over. Okay, understood. Out. So I like all the crew talk dialogue that we have here, and let's get started. Look at that, it's even smoking already. Back her up. Let's get pulling the train. Thank you. 
always a really cool steam locomotive here, and any of our O scalers out there know that sometimes the steam engines can be very expensive, while this one's a very economical price for O scale. So the retail value of this engine is $329.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $309.99. It's a die cast metal engine here, it is a very nice, um, nicely built engine. MTH did a really good job with their quality here, and it is translating over the line now. I like the detailing on it too, it's not super detailed, but I think it is sufficient, especially you have. Uh, maybe a 027 or traditional layout. So coming to Yankee Dabbler, I only have this one here, but if you're interested, I would not delay because uh, as soon as it's gone, you're not getting it. So come in and get it today. Our final story takes us to our very own store here at Yankee Dabbler, where an unexplained phenomenon happens where locomotives suddenly go missing. For example, this Western Maryland, as we know, all know, is safe right now, but only time will tell if that engine will stay on its track or if it will follow the ghostly apparitions and leave. What are you talking about, DJ? I'm talking about the situation we have at our store sometimes, where locomotives are tested, but yet they mysteriously vanish within hours or even minutes of them being taken out of the box. That's crazy. I know. If you think you have any idea what is happening to these locomotives, please reach out to us on YouTube and let us know on the comment page on where these engines may be going. Perhaps another dimension? Perhaps another train store? Perhaps, even maybe, to the cosmos. Alright, perhaps some of these stories aren't that unexplainable. Um, hmm. I'll have to uh, talk to Christian afterwards. Our final diesel locomotive that we're going to be taking a look at here is an oldie but a goodie here, but it's a brand new one from Ather, and this is the P42 Amtrak diesel locomotives, and I have here a couple of paint schemes that are, we still have in stock. We have here uh, three 50th anniversary paint schemes here. We have here the Pointless Arrow. We have here what is affectionately known as the Pepsi Can. And then we have my personal favorite, the Phase 6. Now these are really great diesel locomotives here, as we all know that Amtrak celebrated its 50th anniversary a couple years ago. But these engines can still be found on the rails today. And let's take a look. I mean, it's just such a great design. I always thought the P42 was a really neat looking diesel locomotive here. And Athern put their spin on it, and I think these are detailed great. I particularly like the windshield wipers on the windows. Take a look at that engine there, Hall. Isn't that pretty cool? Nice and thin. All right, I got some nice detailing happening up here. These are just really great diesel locomotives here. I really enjoy it. And if you're an Amtrak fan, I think you definitely need one of these P42s, especially these 50th anniversary diesel engines on your roster. So let's get one of these fired up and see what it sounds like. We get that phase one on the track. Let's hear what it sounds like.
That is a great diesel locomotive here, and I've seen a whole bunch of 40, uh, P42s in my lifetime, and that engine sounds really close to what they sound like. Now, the retail value of these diesel locomotives is $309.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $247.99. Again, as I said, they had a couple of extras. We've actually sold out before we could get them on the show, so these are the only three I have left. So if you're interested in getting a P42, I wouldn't hesitate because these sound great, they look great, and they're going to look even better running trends in your layout. Thank you for watching our show of Unexplained Train Mysteries. If you think you happen to know the answers to any one of our train mysteries that we had, please reach out to us at our YouTube channel, Engineer Hall. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and let us know what you think these phenomenons are. Let's take a look at a recap of all the things that we talked about today here. From Athern, we had these P42 Genesis diesel locomotives. We also had a bunch of hoppers from Bowser that are really nice looking. We had here a whole bunch of SD40s from Athern. And then from Lionel, we had this uh, 260, uh, 280 rather, consolidation. And then we had here from Katie, we had this very nice Ann Arbor boxcar. But of course, if you were looking for something that we didn't talk about in today's show, please reach out to us at yankeedabbler.com. Type in the search bar what you are looking for, and hopefully you'll see a whole bunch of different things that you will find very exciting to add to your layout and get started this wintery season all right if you're not already subscribed to engineers hall channel as i said please make sure you click that subscribe button so you get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have on our show they have over a hundred episodes talking about different things that we have here on our show so please make sure you get check them out we're going to conclude with our rail fan video we're going to take a look at a p42 going through philadelphia they're great sounding engines i think you really got to join them. i think after you see this video you're going to want to get one of these rolling on your roster so enjoy very much now, if you excuse me, I need to go find some more answers to our unexplained train mysteries. For example, we had a situation happening with our... This is a nice phone, Rich. Hi, YouTube.